Hi again. So I did our reading for tomorrow, and then I went and took a bath and showered and had like a bunch of ideas. <laughs> so this is the, the bath version. I'm in my robe. Shout out to Mark Revelet, you know, the king of robe culture. <laughs> I'm, if, I'm, if I'm destroying your name, Mark, I'm so sorry. Okay, so where are, oh, you know, I put kind of, I kind of almost reshuffled everything. So I had some uh, things I wanted to tell us about before I went to bed and forgot. And of course, I'll come up with like 20 more things by the time I wake up in the morning. But I at least wanted to speak to some of my tubby time meditations on the cards. You know, I love the cards. It's, you know, it's basically, it's a conversation through art and um that is what makes sense to me. Like I said, I'm a Pisces, and so it helps me, you know, channel better what I'm seeing. And gosh, I was thinking of the Ace of Wands. Oh no, you know what? It was called actually the Ace of of Swords was coming. An imagination of that was coming when we were doing the earlier reading. But anyway, I want to pull out the cards that we um had from earlier. I know you are not necessarily out. Two of Swords, you lady. But there you were. Um, I had, um, oh, six of swords. I know you are for sure. Um, one of the things I wanted to speak to was some of the, the things I was picking up in the nine of wands imagery. And that be, oh, there's the king, the justice, the knight, the three, the devil. Oh, here, everybody's here. Oh, hang on. Let's get you. Here's your pentacles. Oh, where is she now? Oh. Oh, there she is. Okay, I think I got everybody out. Um, the Nine of Wands, which was, you know, one of the things that came to me was that the reason she's she's she, in, I see her as somebody who is completely, she really knows what she wants. She's ready to defend that as well. But again, and not in this hugely masculine, very pushy kind of way. And she was going to hold soft boundaries, even though, but they're firm. They're firm, but soft boundaries. And she is looking in one direction. But part of the reason that she's not looking, needing to look in the other direction is because, you know, she's actually, this is because we're, I was really, the, the, the obvious femininity that is very present in what is a masculine card. You know, the suit of fire, the fire signs are all masculine signs. So again, that external kind of energy, that drive, that motivation, that's a masculine quality. And again, we embody both masculine and feminine. Let's not forget this. Hey, you know, hey, Pride Month, it's June. So, you know, let's remember that all of those aspects exist in each and every one of us. And but the femininity in this card is so obvious and she's so she's holding her boundaries but she's holding them in that very soft way which i spoke to in the earlier take on this video and so her you know her her emotional she's she's very in control of her emotions she's sitting down she's not standing up like i said she's she's pretty much she's in relaxed attention and which is in a very meditative state it's being attentive but in a relaxed fashion She's not in a huge state of doership. She's just being. She's being. She's very solid in her in her in the things that she's decided she wants to pursue. So much so that she can just sit down and kind of wait it out. She's ready for whatever needs to come. She has her armor on. If she does need to stand up, she will. But her, she's going to be listening to her intuition. She's not just going to be looking from one perspective. She's going to take in the viewpoint of this other, of her familiar. Through her emotional body and then her intuition, which is again considered a more feminine quality. But we all have it. She takes in, she will, before she acts, she will be consulting and he's hearing from her emotions. And that was so obvious with the other cards that came up in the reading and um, in the justice card. What I wanted to speak to about the justice card was, you know, I was really, uh, what really came to me as I was soaking in the tub was the fact that she's got her eyes closed, she's got a sword, and she's holding on to like some scales, but yet she's walking around on slippery rocks and she's like wearing this robe that could easily trip her up. 
She's not at all concerned about that. She knows her truth. But again, feminine and with wings. Like, she's not going to do this in a hard line kind of way. But she's got a sword. And as the Knight of Swords came up, she will use it if she has to. To wipe the slate clean and to bring that balance, to bring that justice. Again, the lots and lots of water in this card, which brought us to our King of Cups. An individual who, although is a masculine king, that's normally an attributed to masculine where queen would be feminine doesn't matter this is probably the more feminine king in the deck out of all the kings this is the, this is one who is in touch with his emotions and his intuition and his spirituality justice is bringing spirit into this our nine of wands is bringing spirit into this her spirit, her spirit, his spirit. And when we do that, we do spin the wheel of fortune. We change our fortunes. We change the, the whole dynamic of any situation in a moment by bringing in love, by bringing in that quality of love, of heart-centered wisdom, rather than just hard logic. There's nothing in here that's hard logic except for him. And even he... Yeah, this 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 more heavy hand will come down. If that's what you choose, if if you if again you're listening to these voices, so you know we've got this kind of pan figure in the background on the devil card that came up at the bottom of the deck, and although I initially was like, oh yeah, she looks kind of comfy, she's you know, got her back against a tree. She's sitting in, like, on a weird route. She doesn't have any clothes on. And she's kind of awkwardly posed, like, oh, yes, well, but look here. You know, but it it's not a comfortable position. And this Pan figure, you know, Pan is, a, is the god of mischief. So mostly this is something that would be, you know, the devil card is not something, you know, you're going to hell if you go this way. No, <laughs> but it's just, it's just not the best choice and it will cause mischief and it's going to cause some havoc. The truth is going to come in no matter what. Your, tr your heart truth will come in. I, 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 I tell you, if you even choose going down, like an old path, like choosing, and when I say an old path, by the way, I don't mean that, um, I don't mean to say that, um, you know, an old, an old relationship or whatever, you know what, because there's value in all kinds of things, but you have to listen to that heart wisdom to know if it's actually true for you, if it's actually a good choice for you, all right, listen to your heart, take it slow. Take and, and be, you know, use your intuition. Pull in these faculties that you have. Pull them in. Pull them in. You know, really suss out the situation. You'll make the right decision. Justice is here. The Knight of Swords is here. And, but you'll know because you'll know when it's just not a right fit. And that might be for now. It, you know, it, it doesn't need to be into perpetuity. But just maybe not right now. And the the overall tone is that by following our emotional, creating a more stable emotional foundation for ourselves, whatever situation that might be, no matter what, how you cultivate that, is what spins the wheel every single time. Anyway, um, I just wanted to give you a final read on some of the things that I saw post-tubby time. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. I do love you. Love yourself. And know that you're going to make the right decision no matter what. Have a good one.